Hello everyone. Welcome to my another episode on YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about data visualization using Tableau. As you already know that business, for business intelligence, there are many tools out there, but Tableau is one of the best. It's simple, easy to use, and very intuitive. And there are other tools as well, like Microsoft Power BI and ClickSense. But today my focus is on Tableau. I'm going to use an uh, easy to understand Excel spreadsheet, bring the data into Tableau, and see how it goes. So let's check it out. All the numbers are not real. So let's say you're working in the finance department of the company and you have this weekly report that you have to present to your, uh, your, your management and your management wants to know in data visualization form and get some insights of where exactly the cash flow is going. So in order to explain the data in the most easiest manner, I have divided into three columns. So the first column talks about the details on 18th of this month. And if you go back to one week, it's 11th of this month and then fourth of this month. So all three weeks data is there. Uh, so in this week data, we have a bank balance. Every company, every person working in the finance deals with the bank balance of the company. So I have just put on the numbers. Then we have savings account as well. Then we have account payables, we have account receivables, we have pending sales, and we have any other pending sales uh, which we have to receive uh, the, the receivables in the future. And these are the loans that the company has taken in the last three weeks. And these are the commercial loans that the company has taken. And if you have any other data, for example, you can add it right here. And uh, this is the total. So the total, I have used the formula sum so if you want to know how this formula came into existence you can simply go to um, you, you can simply go to uh, formulas and in formulas when you click on here you can click on trace presidents so it shows you how the data came into being so this data is the sum of b5 plus b6 plus b9 so this is b5 plus b6 plus b9 which is receivables so similarly you add all these columns together minus B7 plus B13. So B7 is payables. B13 is the loans. So it's basically your assets minus liabilities. It gives you your current financial position. Uh, if you just look at the data, it's easy to understand that our position was much more stronger on 4th. That it came down uh, on 11th and currently it's at the lowest position. But how did we reach to this point? It's so easy to understand when you have data visualization. Let me show you how this data can be brought into Tableau. So you open the Tableau. As soon as you open Tableau, you will be presented with this screen. So this screen talks about you, any other projects that you have already done, uh, or these are the ways in which you can connect to this data. So I have to connect to my Excel data since this is Excel. So I will click here, but if you have other data such as text file, JSON file, Microsoft Access file, PDF file, even you can click on more and Tableau is going to show you uh, that you can connect to other files. You, you see this here, TWB file, TBM, if you click on that, these are the different extensions that you can bring into Tableau. So I'll cancel this, I'll go to Microsoft Excel and when you click on that you have to select your data so i have this company position data i click this and in a short while you'll be able to see this data appearing so this is your connections that shows you that this is your company position excel spreadsheet that is right there it gives you the preview uh, and this is showing you that there is only one sheet in the data which is shown by this um, and uh, you can also see that inventory is null uh, this is showing you as a number here and this is also showing you as a number you can even change it you can click on it and uh, you can select any other option that you want you can create a group you can create bins but we are not going into that and since this one is all about alphabet so it shows you ABC you can click here and see you can change it to date date and time number but we just keep it as it is and we come to sheet one. So in sheet one, this is your main uh, user interface for Tableau. 
so you have dimensions here and you have measures here so dimensions are uh, the fields that you have without any numbers so these are just the alphabets uh, so you can select date or measure names here uh, you have measures uh, you have three different columns here so what I want to do is I want to bring this data into Tableau so I click on date right here so when you click on the date it shows you that these are the uh, different uh, fields that that is there in that data so if you go to Excel these are the fields so you bring these fields into Tableau by clicking on date it appears here now one thing you can do is measure is either you can bring it one by one so when when you double click on here it shows you that it comes here and then you can click on the second one and it will appear here and you can then click on the third one it will show up here but if you want to do it in the fastest manner you can press ctrl Z on your keyboard and it just goes back it, it, uh, it undoes whatever you've done instead of that you click on measure values when you click on that all three uh, columns came into being so let's see we do not need this one number of brackets so you right click here and click on exclude this will be excluded we don't need this null values so you right click here and click exclude you're just doing a little bit of uh, data cleaning scattered line is all zero so we don't need that we will hit exclude right here and inventory is also empty so you can uh, exclude all of them all at once by pressing control on your keyboard so you click on this and then press control then you can select again overdraft and there's no other value that you need to delete so simply select these two values right click and hit exclude so now you have a clean data so when your data is clean it shows you on the right show me that what are the different charts that you can create using this data this is the beauty of tableau so i will just explain to you these three different charts so when you click on this first one it shows you that the data is shown in this way but this doesn't make any sense to us because it's so difficult for us to compare the results with each other there is no way that we can get any meaningful insight out, out of this tableau so i press ctrl z one more time and then I click on uh, this uh, chart right here and you click on this it, even this doesn't show us any good details it's it's all difficult to understand so you press ctrl Z again and then look at this last one when you click on this last one here now it makes sense to us that you know now we can compare different details for example you click on this show me tab one more time it shows you the measure names the blue one shows the data for 11th of this month. Uh, the orange one shows the data for 18, and the red one shows the data for 4. So what you can do now, you can do a little bit of data cleaning here. How we can do data cleaning? First of all, we want to have all these uh, um, dates in one color. So you drag this date and bring it on top of color. When you bring it on top of color, see how it changes now it's all one color so bank balance is all one color this is a bank balance savings account is all one color chase saving is all one color so what we can do now is if if you look at these options right here on the top it sorts the data uh, in rows and columns so if you, when you click on that see how the data is uh, being shown like it's uh, it's it's shown as uh, alphabetically so it starts with b bank balance then c then L, P, so it's 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 uh, alphabetically um, uh, shown. So you click that again, and and now let's say that I want to bring any column in the first. So for example, here in Excel spreadsheet we have bank balance. So you want to bring bank balance uh, as first. So it's showing a bank balance. Then we have Chase saving. So it's it's all ordered correctly. But in case you want to bring any of these columns in the beginning, you just click any of this column single and you can drag it so when you drag it you can bring it you can play with it as you want um, so now we want to show this value so for example uh, this one it shows as uh, on 18 the bank balance was 600,000 but we need to put labels on the top so how do we do that so you come back on the left where it shows measures you click on measure values and you drag this to on top of label so you see that all the labels are being shown now with just one click it's so easy but here we have a problem 
the problem is that we, we are not able to get a dollar sign before this. We need to do a little bit of formatting. So in order to do the formatting, you just click on this measure values, which is shown here, right click here, and then go to format. So when you go to format, it shows you the pane with default values, total and grand total. So you need to do this. You have to come down here where it says number. You click on number and currency, you click on currency custom. So now you can have decimal places. I don't want any decimal places, so I'll change it to zero. And display units is none. You can have different display units. You can change it to thousands, millions, billions. So I'm just going to change it to thousand because then it, it makes more sense. So when you click on thousands, see now everything is changing to thousand. It looks much cleaner and much easier to read and understand. So you close this right here. And now we have to do a little bit of cleaning. We do not want to see this 2020 in our data. So how do we do that? You, you come here and just right click and click on edit alias. When you click on that, just come back here and, and delete 2020 and click OK. When you do that, all the dates for 9-11 is deleted, uh, 2020 is deleted. You do the same thing for other dates, edit, and this is how you can change it easily. And then you come here, edit, and you change it right from there. So now the data is clean, but now you see 9-11 is coming first, 9-18 is coming second, 9-4 is coming third. But we want to have the latest date first. So I want to bring this 9-18 here. You cannot just simply drag and drop. For that, you have to come to this pane right here, which is measure values. So 9-18, you bring it on the top. So when you when you bring on the top, 9-18 comes first, 9-11 is second, 9-4 is third. Now the data is accurately shown in 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 a very proper way. Um, and also, uh, when you come to Excel spreadsheet, the last column is current financial position. We want this to be in the last so that we know what is happening with current financial position. So you see where this current financial position is. You single click and you drag it and bring it in the end. So now it shows us easily that our current financial position is uh, declining in the last three weeks. But since we have to see the whole picture, like we want to see the whole column, so you come on the top where it says standard, you click on it and click on entire view. When you click on entire view, it would uh, adjust itself, but it's still not showing the proper name. So you click on fit width and fit height. So we have to do a little bit of cleaning here. And that cleaning is that we have to drag this data a bit on the left. Uh, and we have to adjust this. So when you do this, you'll be able to see the data adjusted current financial position. And, and now you, you see this, how the data is being displayed now. You can play with it and, and adjust it the way you want it. So now I see that my data is shown to me. It's easy for my management now. If they want to look at it, they can take it easily. So you can change the heading of it. You, come, you can come on top of it where it says sheet one. You double click on this and, and you type in company position as on uh, so if it was created on 9-18, you put in the date 9-18. Select all, bold, underscore, and in the in the you, you align in the center and click apply and hit OK. So this is the heading that you've created. Now, if your management want to see, they, they can see it easily rather than looking at the Excel spreadsheet for the numbers, they can look at the data and see, okay, the bank balance, it's it's increasing in the last three weeks. If they want to look at the loans, they can say that the loan is decreasing. Chase savings, saving account is also declining, but they can have commercial loans. Loans is, is increasing. So, and, and they can easily compare between payables and receivables. For example, payable is here. I want to compare it with receivables. So I just bring it and drag it here. Now I can see that my payables is increasing 
but my receivable is decreasing. When my receivable is decreasing, this is causing the problem in the current financial position because my receivables is decreasing and this is why it's causing major decline in my financial position. And if you want to export this data and you want to send this as JPG uh, by email or in Outlook, you simply come on the top uh, where it says Worksheet. You click on Worksheet and hit Export and click Image. Now it's going to show you how you want to show this. Select as it is shown, Save. And it's going to ask you where you want to save this uh, JPG. So you can uh, select it on the desktop. So I, sh I use the desktop, give the name, whatever you want, current financial position, and hit save. So it's saved on the desktop. Now I want to see how it looks like. So I just click on this. And, and there we go. We are able to see this data for the company position that we can share with our teams, with our management. On the right, you can see the labels. It's very easy to understand data divided into three different dates. And it, it even explains uh, to anybody who is understanding it that colors shows details about date. The marks are labeled by uh, these days. The view is filtered on date, which excludes null, credit line, inventory, and overdraft. So these are the ones that I excluded. So it even explains about the ones that is excluded. So this was the basic understanding of using Tableau. I hope you guys can use this in your current job and make some uh, interesting and meaningful visualizations in order to excel in your job. Thank you so much and have a great day.